Did Code Blue come out with something wild? When you do all that work to escape police and still get caught, is this a chase? On October 23rd, 2022, <laughs> a La Crosse County Sheriff's deputy was conducting random registration plate checks in Bangor, Wisconsin. He ran the plates of a passing vehicle and discovered it was registered to 29-year-old Ashley Stalsberg. It displayed her driving status to be suspended due to failure to pay a forfeiture. These are prime K6. As he activated his lights and sirens, his speed increased to 124 miles per hour and noticed her vehicle was still pulling away. Oh, she was just very far. The deputy lost sight of Ashley after a few miles and provided dispatch with a description of her vehicle. Moments later, he observed her vehicle in the ditch and believed she had been involved in a single vehicle crash. Oh, rough. Approximately 100 still driving through the ditch right now. Oh wait, no, this is an evasive tactic. Don't do it, Ashley! She continued through You're the not gonna win this chase. The deputy. Ten four is still driving. Wisconsin plate. Adam Lincoln Young, eight five two seven, Adam Lincoln Young. Oh eight, fuck, five, she's punching it. Oh boy, she's going for it. Driving through the east ditch right now. Oh boy. Ashley, come on. You're at such a disadvantage already, though. 117, turning eastbound on Hamilton. After a brief pursuit, her vehicle pulled over. The deputy observed smoke coming from the vehicle, believing that it may have become disabled. Thanks, Jenny. Coming to a stop just north of that intersection. Oh boy. Not even a good chase, Ashley. Driver, let me see your hands. Step out of the vehicle. Damn, she's having a party in there. Get out of the vehicle. Wait till after the track. Get out of the vehicle. Turn around and face away from me. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. I'll explain it to you once I get your custody. Raise your hands. Oh, bad voice crack. Unlucky officer. Put your hands above your head. Do it now. Pull, up, pull your sweatshirt up with your hands. Turn around. Alright. What? Yeah. Is this the officer's music or hers? You were going 100 on 16. Yes, you were. Keep your hands up. Oh, Ashley. Feel comfortable. Ran off and fled into the cornfield. Ashley. Stay out of the car. I was trying to stop you. You were not. Yes, I was. My lights and sirens. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh, boy. She's got some jets, though. Oh, I'm at foot northbound. Get away from me. Oh, that's where the aliens live. They draw crop circles and shit. She's going to get abducted now. She's running through the right into the cornfield. She's never seen a fucking Shyamalan movie. Ashley! I believe the subject is going to be the registered owner. She's continuing slowly through the cornfield. I believe she's still moving north. She's somewhere right back in here. Okay. I guess go up a little bit and we'll try and. I guess you could just tow her car. Right, She'll just live amongst the corn now. Ashley! <laughs> Just come out towards the sound of my voice. Come on, Ash. This is silly. You're being silly. A perimeter was set up, and the area was checked with thermal imaging and night vision. However, Ashley wasn't located. Yeah. So, I saw her in Bangor and tried to turn around on her because I saw she was suspended. Uh -huh. As soon as she got to 18, around 16, she was flying. <laughs> so I finally did the same direction radar, and she went 71. 
So I tried to speed up, and as soon as I started speeding up, she started speeding up. I was going 124, and she was going over 100, and then did on a big creek. And by the time I caught up to her, she was in the ditch. I don't know where she would last. Let's me. let's get a drone Somewhere out there. In this area would be my best guess. Or a really hungry dog that likes corn. We can yeah, start ran, like, maybe right making a dent in the she field. Ran down a little bit, and then ran in probably like there about and I kept I could hear her but then once 805 got here I couldn't hear anything over his engine blue purple hooded sweatshirt jeans and she had a gray leather bag with her like a purse but I don't feel like we ran that far but I don't know I don't really ever run so I had adrenaline going right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't one of the, like the core components of the police academy is like teaching you to run and shit what do you mean you don't ever run Aren't you, like, supposed to do that? You have to, like, keep up with the fitness course or something? Does, does he just, like, skip those days? Post or something? Or no, it's corn. It's corn. Yeah, there's corn in her, on her windshield. It's only for when you join? I didn't, sure like, keep up with it. I look at a DL photo. I haven't looked at that yet, but descriptors matched. Yeah. She's trying to tell me she wasn't eluding, but, you know, when you're going, like, 114 on yeah. Big Creek, I'm pretty sure... You're doing stuff you shouldn't be doing. The the K9 for the county is way over on the other side of the county, and we don't even know if it's available yet because it's Saturday night. Okay. So. That her? Yep. That's her. That's uh, up to you guys on what you want to do. do you well, there's definitely, run? like, you large, overweight run? cops, but that doesn't mean they can't run. She'll, she'll come out. Like, there are people that are on the bigger side of things that can run just fine. Not super fast, but they can run this guy's saying, like, he can't run. Walking at some right. point. It's up to you, though. I mean, we can straight up call K9 or go in and get her ourselves. I mean, she's not going to be able to go very far in here. Right. We're figuring out whether or not they... We got a positive Things idea. Are some on geese. It, so it depends on what they want to do. If they want to apprehend her, we'll to, probably yeah. get her walking sooner or later. Why we got a phone number for her. Why don't you try calling her? Okay. <laughs> Ashley, come out of the corn. again later. I think she turned her phone off. It says it can't be complete. Is it in there? Oh. What we'll do is we'll just obviously patrol through here and when she calls for a ride or whatever, as soon as the vehicles come through here, I guess we'll see. Alright. Um, is she, you know, at, you know she's a dope. Man, they got G.I. Joe out here. Holy fuck. Beth is her preference. They're gonna call in a chopper and get she someone on the rope. Dope game, though. I think she's only Repelling been down. For a year, year and a half, maybe. Best of my knowledge. Okay. So. I think you two get subs, Ginny. Yeah. The recent wizard. Only the one booking record with her spark has only got her. Feeling better. I've never gotten her. I think she might have been involved in Merkel's pursuit. All this to catch a drunk woman. Hey, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I have no respect for drunk drivers. Fuck them. Call the whole force out here. Fuck her. I have zero tolerance for drunk drivers. About 16 hours later, a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy attempted to locate her at an address. While en route. The deputy observed a vehicle pass him and noticed the female driver look away at the same time. He ran the vehicle plates and discovered it was registered to the same address where they were going to attempt to locate her. What a coincidence. By looking at a Scripted. past jail booking photo of her, the deputy believed it to be Ashley, so he conducted a traffic stop. <clears throat> Sergeant Oswald from the Sheriff's Office. The reason I'm stopping is for traveling 63 into 55. Ma'am, were you in a cornfield last night? Going 60? Do you know what the speed limit is here? I can't hear you. Do you mind stepping out of the vehicle for me? Step out of the vehicle. What's that? You are stepping out. 9 to 17. You want to head this way. You do have to step out. I have a right okay. to a lawyer and Not a cornfield. Speed, one reason why I'm stopping you, but I believe uh, La Crosse County wants to talk to you. So I need you to step out of the vehicle now. No. You do need to step out. Am I under arrest? Yes. Step out of the vehicle. Really, dude? Step out of the vehicle. You are under arrest. Get out. Uh, right now. She's about to put the pedal to the metal, officer. Step out of the vehicle now. Hope you've done some hamstring stretches. Don't 
Don't be reaching in your purse. Step out of the vehicle now. Step out. Oh, I thought she was going to go for it. What am I going to do to you? Step out. Turn around. Damn it, Ashley. Unlucky. No cornfield nearby. And couldn't make it to the paint shop. How'd she get out of the field? She probably just stayed there all night. <laughs> like, what do you mean? She probably literally just slept there. She was drunk. Oh yeah, she absolutely just passed out there. No, she got another car. Yeah, she, so my guess would be she went in the cornfield, literally passed out, slept there all night, then walked back. She had her phone because they tried calling her to get out of the cornfield. She called someone she knows to ask for like a car or a ride or something. They brought the car and she drove that. That's my guess. Thanks for gift sub, Jenny. phone was in the car did they say that oh, i must have missed that part because they tried calling her i assumed it was in the on her person the other cop said i was in the car oh then that is even more confusing. Yeah, I don't know how she got out, got a car all within 16 hours and still somehow didn't make it home in time. Thanks for resub, Eubanks. Mm. That was her evil twin. The other lady got eaten by coyotes. Honestly, it's possible. Is she wearing the same thing here, I wonder? Let's see. Now I'm curious. This is kind of interesting, though. How she fucking managed... No, it's a different item. It's a different uh, outfit. Because 16 hours, I imagine they stayed here for a long time. And they, they took her car. Damn, she must have had, like, an actual backup plan.